40 years ago, we threw everything away. Today, we wouldn't consider throwing paper or metal away because they're fully recyclable. One day, really soon, we'll be able to say the same thing about our clothing. I've been making textiles and apparel commercially for the last 25 years. And in 2010, I traveled to China to find sources of manufacturing for a startup I was working for. Now, I'd been to China many times before this trip, working for DuPont, Target, Eddie Bauer, but I'd never been into the subcontracted areas. My colleague and I got out of the car. We were standing right next to each other, and we couldn't see each other. The air quality was so thick with pollution. We took an elevator up to our meeting room. Midway through the room to the ceiling was this cloud from outside hovering above the heads of their corporate team. And we sat at a table talking about how we could do business together. For the first time in my career, I couldn't do my job. And I um, think that a lot of people call it a moment of awakening, but I really call it, a, it was more of a breakdown for me because I began adding up how many millions of yards of fabric I had made up to this point in my career. And all of a sudden I became linked to the cause of the problem. So my team and I have decided that this is not how the story ends. We are actually going to now be taking the garment waste and uh, turning it into a high quality new raw material. But before we were able to do that, we had to study the problem. What we discovered was 90% of all clothing in the world is made from two fibers, polyester and cotton. Both sources of fiber creation require tremendous amounts of natural resources. 700 gallons of water to make one simple t-shirt. And then as subject matter experts, we take these fibers, we spin them into yarn, we knit, weave, dye, print, finish, cut and sew garments that we elegantly ship to every human on the planet and worldwide, we throw away about 90, over 90 million tons of garment waste away every year. So we knew if there was a way to take this waste, turn it into high quality new raw material, we could allow our industry to grow, but grow in a way where we significantly reduce our impact to natural resources. So ever new takes garment waste, we convert it into a high quality new raw material, and we, work, we made these prototype, this prototype for Levi's. And we're taking garment waste and turning it into a higher quality material that then can be grown naturally. And we're doing this in a way that cuts water by 98% compared to cotton, cuts CO2 by 90% compared to polyester. But by creating garments that are designed to be recycled again, we can prevent them from ever entering a landfill in the first place. We're also doing this in a way where it seamlessly integrates into the existing supply chain, so there's no change to the supply chain required. So I am proud to announce this last uh, July, we did an, launch our brand in collaboration with Adidas and Stella McCartney, um, and it's called New Cycle. When you see New Cycle on the inside of your jeans or your t-shirt, you'll know that that garment was made from your old clothes and that it's recyclable. So don't throw it away, New Cycle it. And one day, really soon, we can all start wearing the solution. Thank you.